Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. This morning we're going to be doing an everyday carry. What we carry on our DRZ. As many of you know, I ride around by myself quite a bit. We'll do stuff off road, in town, and around. And uh, anyhow, SGF Adventures, Springfield Adventures. If you guys have not checked out his channel, click down below. Uh, check out his channel. He's got a great channel. But he's challenged me to do a video on everyday carry. So this, what this video is going to be about is what we carry on the DRZ, so let's get to the video guys. I thought it would be easiest way is we're just going to go from the front to the bike to the rear of the bike and we're going to go over the everyday carry stuff. The stuff that I take with me, as you guys know, most of the time I ride by myself, so I do have some safety equipment and stuff like that, just in case you need it or whatever else. But uh, we'll go ahead and start up here at the front. Number one, we've got the Tusk Toe Strap Velcro to the Wolfman Fender Bag. Okay, on the Wolfman Fender Bag, guys, um, so I'm going to try to speed this video up. Wolfman Fender Bag, we've got a spare tube. It's going to be the front tube, 21 inch. You can shove it in the rear, it'll fit. It'll work in a pinch. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out that I put in both my front and rear on my adventure bikes is right on. It's kind of like slime, guys. It's a little bit different, but it's essentially the same principle. I can tell you from riding all over Oklahoma, all over Missouri with Frank up there at Woodsman's Dual Sport Adventures. Um, I've even taken this bike down to Louisiana to ride with Tankerman and for whatever reason we didn't get to ride but uh, ride on is, is a good tire sealant it'll I it hadn't left me with a flat yet but I still carry the stuff here on the bike um, in the fender bag we got the universal spoon that fits front axle joints rear axle joints uh, I carry three spoons three is easier to change the tire with if you haven't seen my tire changing videos with some of my other videos Pull them up because we got plenty of videos teaching you how to change the tire using three spoons. Okay, that's it on the front. Up here on this uh, number plate bag, again, it's the Wolfman number plate bag. We've got a bunch of tools. These are some of the tools that we've given away in the past, guys. We've also got some extra gear. Uh, number one. Number one, we got some Mo Tool hand cleaner so when you're working on your bike you're going to get dirty we've got extra batteries for our headlamps and we'll get to that they're in this other bag we've got some pliers dikes shifters some of these tools we've given away you can see they're the three and four and five and one tools it just makes life easier and then boom how many of you know what this is we'll know who our outdoor guys are and maybe even our preppers you know what that is comment below that will maybe give you a chance yeah let's do that if you know what this is comment below and uh, it'll give you an entry into our December giveaway whoa fun stuff all right so we're gonna put this back guys and in case you're wondering why I'm going so quickly because you guys know I carry too much gear uh, next we've got the tank bag again it's Wolfman and this is uh, I don't remember it's a small tank bag for the DRC I, I, I don't remember uh, number one headlamp boom clips on your cap you're out there trying to work on your bike and now you got a light hands free this thing works awesome it's small nine bucks Bass Pro uh, big headlamp you know, we got the batteries up front because watch what happens when you leave them in your bag too long. Ooh, see how that ain't working at all? Yeah, that's why you carry extra batteries. All right, next we got a little dry bag. In this dry bag, we've got hand warmers, feet warmers. It's getting cold out there, guys. Start packing your bike for the cold stuff because it's getting cold out there. Little hand warmers, feet warmers come in handy. Might save you. One thing I never leave home without, toothpicks and dental floss, because you know I'm going to be eating. Uh, rechargeable flashlight, really bright one. 
We've got a video on this. Link's down below. Uh, payday. Never go home without your payday. Receipts for tax purposes only. We got granola bars in case you get hungry. We've got eyeglass cleaners. This will actually clean your lens. We've got more paracord. Guys, if you know what this is, comment below. It'll enter you in for the December giveaway. Uh, headache medicine. Double A. Triple A. More tools. Toolkit. Thanks for your GoPro. Never leave without a bunch of zip ties. You guys remember when we was on the K-Trail, I actually had to zip tie my uh, fender back on. My front fender fell off. <clears throat> this is a spark plug and I'm going to guess it's aspirin. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any idea. All right, up here we got earplugs for in case you guys end up riding with somebody that has uh, loud pipes or something. Got a little keychain thing. It's also a Phillips screwdriver. We've also got an extra cord to charge your iPhone. And right here on the front of the bag, easy reach, boom, got a pocket knife. Never leave home without a pocket knife. We've also got another pocket knife and a Leatherman up in the front number plate bag that I did not pull out because we've talked about it in the past as well. Okay, that gets us through that bag. You guys know I carry a backpack with me at all times. Number one thing on the backpack is the spot. Extra batteries in the tank bag and in the backpack as well for the spot. This is how my wife keeps track of me. If I come up missing, she knows where to find me. She can actually watch me while I'm riding around. There's a link for this video too, guys. I, I don't want to keep saying there's a link, there's a link, there's a link, but uh, Spot makes an, makes an awesome product. Keeps the wife happy. And we'll start here in the front of the Wolfman backpack. Sport, sport. <laughs> I don't like sports. I actually got a knife, a spoon, and a fork. This is titanium, it's super lightweight. You can get yours on Amazon. We've got on the front of the pack survival bracelet. You can use this to tie your coat onto your bag. You can use it to uh, all, all kinds of things. If you undo this, there's like 35 feet of survival cord in here, along with two fishing hooks and some sinkers. I made it myself. But it's a great way to put your raincoat or something easy real quick. You can just lash it on and it holds it tight. Inside the backpack, we've got a trauma pack. We've got a coffee cup. We've got extra gloves. We've got trash sacks, because Lord knows we've got plenty of trashy people out there. Trashy people. We've got number one thing if you guys ever leave on a trail after you've ate breakfast, boom, toilet paper. We've got extra rock straps. If you guys haven't watched, we do have a video on that. Oh my goodness, what do we got? We got some more zip ties. We've got more, oh, this is actually a hammock strap. Yeah, we've got a hammock down in here. And we've got a water bladder down in here. We got some throwing knives just in case you get bored. You break down and you're bored and you want to make some bets with your buddy who's going to walk back to the truck and get the gas. Boom, throwing knives right there. All right, let's put that back in the backpack. All right, now we're back to this side. This is where it starts getting fun, guys. If I plan on breaking down, I plan on breaking down good because I don't ever do anything halfway. So what we've got here, we've got a gas ball full of gas for our grill because we've got a portable grill in here, a portable cooker system. We've also got the air gauge and a chuck. We've got some more granola bars. You can never have too many granola bars. We've got an air compressor. Plugs in. Boom. Got air, air up our tire. We've got to change the flat, fix the flat, change the tube. We've got an air compressor with us. We've got a multi purpose emergency kit. This has got your scissors, 
for cutting bandages, cutting stuff, tweezers, emergency tweezers. It's also got another little pin light. Check your batteries regularly, guys. I can assure you they'll be dead when you need them or carry batteries with you. And that's, again, on Amazon, a little trauma pack kit. And then we've also got in this side bag a machete. You never know when you might need a good machete. We keep that with us and on us at all times and it just stays right there in that bag as well. Now, you guys can see we carry the roto pack. The roto pack's got a gallon and a half of gas at 42 miles a gallon. That'll get you almost 70 miles, but not quite. So keep that in mind if you're gonna be running a bike that's only getting 40 miles a gallon, this is gonna get you 70 miles. So don't get further than that away from a gas station if you're gonna run out. Make sure that wherever you're heading, there'll be another gas station within that 70 mile mark after you run out of gas. Okay, that's got this side. The other side, we've got more toilet paper. We've got our pot and pan kit. We've also got splints. And we've got the little stove in there as well. All right, guys, one more thing on this side of the bike. Sorry you guys can't see it, but we've actually got it mounted to the side. This is going to be your standard AR. This is a SIG model. We ride around where there's a lot of pigs. And when I say pigs, I'm talking about wild hogs, not the wild hogs on the movie that you're thinking about. But this is a great thing to carry on your bike. You can mount it in different locations. Again, I've just got it mounted over here on the side. Sorry you guys can't see how it's clipped in, but it's clipped in nice and tight. We also carry a small handgun. You never know when you might need it. We carry this on our person or in our backpack. And then we've also got a couple hidden on the bike as well. And you never know what's better than one rifle and one pistol two pistols. So that's some of the things that we're going to be carrying with us every time we go out. And uh, guys, if you haven't been practicing with your pistols, I'd encourage you to do so. It's winter time. Go find you an indoor range, get out there and shoot and practice and learn some safety skills and stuff to go along with weapons. You never know when one might save you. Again, guys, this has been a response video to SGF which is short for Springfield Adventures. If you haven't checked out his channel, I'm going to have a link down below. Check out his channel. If you know what some of the things were that I held up, enter it into the comments below. Let's make this a fun game that'll get you more entries for our December giveaway. If you haven't seen the December giveaway, we're giving away the Chrome version of the Eclipse um, charging system. Again, as always, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you like our video, give us a big thumbs up, and maybe have a blessed day.